Yeah. When did we start? When, when did it's we been a year start? since we voted to breach the dam. A year almost to the week. But it's been, it hasn't been a year since they said, wait a second, we, we want some time. They no, said, wait a second, September. in July. Mm -hmm. Just curious. And we had a meeting uh, September 9th, my birthday, with the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> which is why I remember the date. And she gave, she did, gave you a cake? Uh, uh, balloons. Weren't there the balloons in the mayor's office that day? Yeah, yeah. that's two years ago. Two years ago. Oh. Uh, but uh, we had, that's when we had the meeting with um, Paul Spector. And basically, Claire asked for a, uh, a do-over on the public comment period, you know, process that we went through so that these people who felt as though they had been uh, left out of the process would have a chance to, to weigh in with their thoughts. So, you think uh, a month from now we're... What, what happens a month from now? We take another vote or we just simply move forward on what we already voted on? We never rescinded that vote. I know. So, I, you know, it's, at some point, maybe we need to reiterate that vote or... Thank you. Know, it's been an open-ended process and it's hard to... See exactly what the uh, what the, 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 the closure date is. Well, doesn't the state have some say on this? On this I mean, they've given us so much time to bring the dam into compliance, correct? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're working on another uh, six-month extension, which I think takes us into September, if I remember right. But we had agreed at one point to. Paul Spector's thought was that we would just be working on our stuff and at some point our paths of, you know, would begin to diverge and the friends would have the, the burden that the friends would uh, have to bear to catch up with us would begin to grow as we spent money and put work into the breach. They would have to catch up at some point if they expected to have us change our plans. It seemed for a while that we had that kind of agreement and that slipped away. Um, it also feels like there's been a scope creep. Yeah. Suddenly we're looking at multiple dams. Multiple dams. Okay. The focus on hydroelectricity where that's not what we are. Yeah. That's not our, yeah, that's not our focus. Yeah. Oh, we can't do that. If we, because we are own the other dams. Yeah. We own this one. We're under orders on this one. Right. And the state, we have to comply with what the state says. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think we've all been pretty clear about that. <coughs> yeah, I think we were trying to give the space to, to, if they could, find an alternative path that was feasible that we would be open to it, but yeah. we haven't seen that other path presented. And I think the word was do-over. It wasn't do-overs. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's interesting. Uh, uh, I certainly uh, uh, would agree that with, uh, with them if, if they could find the money and it didn't cost the ta taxpayers in the city of Northampton anything. And, and they could find the money to keep the dam and, and put a hydro project in there, all well and good. Uh, but when if it starts costing the uh, enterprise system money that they would not have spent, then we have to put the brakes on. It's a very simple. Uh, I'm just going to gear off if you want yeah. to directly respond. Go ahead. Okay, we'll just gear back. If Jim <clears throat> found out anything more about the West Stockbridge, because that was the, what Mike found was from September or October. And I didn't know if it had actually started and was it generating power. Uh, they don't have their FERC license, the federal. No, they still don't. So, no, they, they, don't, they don't have their license, but the equipment is in place. I mean, wasn't able to make calls before the meeting to figure out what the, what the cost was to get the turbines in place, but you know, based on what Mike on the internet there, it looks like they're ready to go other than having the license to turn the switch on. Um, I, I did ask, um, actually I, 
Um, I had asked GZA for an estimate, for a breakdown. To recall on the hydropower feasibility report they did for us, they said three quarters of a million or a million. And they didn't provide us a breakdown of that. Um, so I did ask them in an email to provide you know, some sense of breakdown of the major categories so we would know, you know how much is engineering, how much is equipment, license, and that sort of thing. They, they did send me an email. Um, I probably, well, if I sent it to you the did. board. I reformatted it and resent it. Okay. Um, I just arranged it so it was a little easier to see the column of numbers. Okay. So that, you know, it just provides us a little more information to, to get a sense of what they think the costs are going to be. And I had mentioned in previous meetings that, um, you know, we're, we're seeing estimates from them on the water treatment plant inline hydropower project. And, you know, those numbers are about 600 grand, I think, for that, for that smaller project. There's no dam Well, I, I think that unless the hydropower becomes the new purpose for the dam and it's worthwhile, the income generated from that comes into the enterprise fund and it's enough to fund the long-term maintenance of the dam. I, don't, I still don't think it's a, a winning situation. So it not only has to finance itself, the installation of the hydro system, and in some respects, they have to come up with the money to reconstruct the dam. It also has to take care of all of the, you know, this, I said every other year inspections by a registered engineer and all of, all of the stuff that goes on, and who knows, you know, what kind of routing program in 25 years, <coughs> who knows what. So it just seems like taking the dam out is the only really, truly reasonable thing to do for a water enterprise system. It's not about making hydropower so that we can keep the dam for an aesthetic purpose. If we really needed the dam for um, the water supply, then it makes sense. But not, it just doesn't, it just... We haven't used it for over 100 years. <laughs> right. Well, all right. So, but I mean, I think the sense of the board is fairly clear, but we still need to come up with some way to shut the process down. Um, right. I hate to do that when the, when they're not here. Well, should we? Can we? Tim, I know the joint committee is meeting next Monday, and they seem to want to be part of the group that's sort of keeping it alive. Yeah. Maybe we have a discussion with the joint committee about the realities and where we are. <coughs> About ready to move on. It seems to me that we directly or indirectly agreed to ex extend this review period and we've talked about mm -hmm. some of the dates, so I don't think it's over quite yet. And we've also agreed in concept for a meeting between the two sets of engineers provided that we can get the right information in front of us in advance of the meeting. And I'd like to give them a chance to follow. I think they can. We can use the remaining time to give them an opportunity to take advantage of that. Um, and 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 then I'd be more comfortable making a, a decision. I think maybe we can use the new fiscal year as a boundary for our time frame. Maybe. I'm, I'm wondering if the boundary uh, when the. Uh, Extension expires on the order of conditions, which that's in September something. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's that's good. Good. That's good. As long as right. there's something rational. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. So, you know what you're going to say. Excellent.